y'all know I love Simply Courtney is here and the baby. So I'm at my daughter's appointment. I'm 35 weeks and seven days or 36 weeks. <sighs> I know different apps say different things. Um, I have to see what they do today. I don't like my hair, you guys. It shrinks so bad. I'm on YouTube um, looking at some products that I can get. One product is all I want just to put on my hair so it won't shrink so much because it's like, zoop. And it's longer than this and I don't like it. I'm like a mushroom. But yeah, my head hurt. I don't feel good today. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I haven't ate, so that could be why. But like when I woke up this morning, my throat felt like it was hurting. You know, it could be the pollen. I think it's the pollen outside. Because I am allergic to pollen. But we're going to see what these doctors say or whatever. I'm tired. I need to be seeing about the breast pump. That's what I'm going to ask them about. I'm going to try to record them talking. But you know how that goes. If they're watching me too hard or something, I'm not gonna record. <laughs> but like, it's gonna be like a weird view, but I want you to hear them. Say whatever they gotta say. I don't feel good today, for real. And my arm right here is so sore. Oh, when I was walking out of the apartments to come to the bus stop, some dude gonna talk to me. Hey, I ain't say nothing. I didn't look at him. Excuse me, excuse me. Didn't say nothing. Didn't look at him. And then when I'm on the train, some dude trying to talk to me. I don't understand. Like, don't talk to me. Like, I don't want to be bothered. Like, I don't want my babe talking to females. So I'm not gonna be talking to these dudes. And then they want to get mad and something like you're stuck up and all that. Like, dude, I don't know y'all. Like, why do y'all keep trying to talk to me? Just leave me alone. It's so annoying. It's so freaking annoying. Just leave me a freak on. I'm missing a word there. I hope they check to see if I'm dilated. Um, I know they're going to. Wait, where's the heartbeat thingy? Usually they check um, the heartbeat when I come. I, I should record that so y'all can hear the heartbeat again. Mm, I'm sorry I keep yawning, y'all. I'm just so tired. But yeah, when they come, I want to try turning on the camera. You shall see. Okay, so let me grab my machine, okay? Okay. So I told her I was so confused because she asked me how long, I, she was like, why, oh, I'm, I'm high risk or whatever. So I was like, it's so confusing because when I was over there at the ultrasound, I was high risk. If I stopped talking to me, she came here, I was high risk. And then when I come up, but they took me off of high risk for ultrasound. Then I come over here, I'm on high risk again. It's confusing. So she said she's going to talk about it. So let me put my phone down. Alright, so what did those ultrasound folks tell you? They took me off of high risk. At first they said, oh, they said something about the baby was in a 10th percentile. I don't know what that means. And then on my paper it said high risk all these times I've been coming and they wanted me to come every week. Yeah. But then they took me off of that and told me to come back in three weeks and they didn't have high risk on the paper anymore. So I'm confused. <laughs> So this is the high risk OB clinic, um, and you will be seeing us for the remainder of your pregnancy, and that's every week. The whole every week thing now has more to do with how far along pregnant you are. Okay. Okay. Um, and so don't let that alarm you. Okay. Um, the reason you were initially referred to high risk was because of the findings they saw in the ultrasound. So let's talk about that 10 percentile. Um, mm -hmm. You were 9 percent actually. 
Um, it, we think babies, um, it should be a certain size at every part of the pregnancy. Yours was on the very low side of, of, of that spectrum. Mm. We say you have a growth restriction if um, you're less than 10%, okay? It has some implications in terms of how often we're doing ultrasounds, um, maybe when you should deliver. Um, seeing you here, I'm thinking maybe baby's small because you're small. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that's what um the ultrasound doctor yeah. said too. Doctor Gary is that who you talked to? He's fabulous. Yeah. I will say the other thing, <clears throat> they were looking at you know certain bones and um, uh, other details of the ultrasound on on your baby, um, and they were thinking you know it might be something that just pediatrics team needs to be aware of oh. when the baby's delivered. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, you'll have a little baby. What number of babies is for you? Four. How big was your biggest baby? Eight. Eight pounds? Yes. The one before this one was eight. Did the baby come that, come out of here? Yes. <laughs> did you have to push your baby along? Yes. You did? It was so tiring. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead and lift your shirt here. So, this one will come out no problem. Okay. It's going to be cold. They've been moving? Yes, a lot. Good. All right. Now you are to the point where you're getting close, okay? Mm -hmm. Very important that you um, pay attention to those movements. If you don't feel baby move, um, you know, at least 10 times every hour. Usually they move way more than that, you know? Okay. Um, that's something that you'd want to come into the triage on the fourth floor to get it checked out. Okay. okay. You can put this down. Yes, I'll be having contractions. How often are those contractions coming? <sighs> well, like, um, when me and my boyfriend have sex, I have contractions okay. after that. That part's normal. Okay. okay. So, so don't let that alarm you. If they persist... Okay. okay. Um, it, you know how some people say they use uh, sex as a way to kind of start their labor? Yes. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I read about that. <laughs> but it won't, it shouldn't take you out of the way if it's not time yet. All right. So okay. you're getting close. That's okay. Let me make sure we're up to date with all of our testing. So when am I going to start getting checked for um, how far I'm dilated and everything? When you start contracting regularly. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, but with your baby now being in the normal range of growth, we wouldn't um, try to induce you early or anything like that. Okay. No, I took my diabetes test, but they never said anything about it. So but I never had diabetes. We'll, we'll double check if you do. Is this the same partner as the eight pounder? No. Oh, okay. Is this partner uh, um, closer to your size or, or much larger? He's skinny and tall. <laughs> and lady talking about I'm not sure because I see on the sign where it says OB medical records and I'm walking in circles looking for my medical record the place so I can get them because I want to have my baby at north side I don't want to have my baby here <sighs> I'm lost you guys something going on with my finger like I lost feeling in it that's, that's weird Oh, this is annoying. So I seen a man. He he tried to help me. He walking around in circles with me too. He knew he don't know what he doing. And then I see a lady. She don't know me. And then I hear her talking to the other lady. She's like, I'm not sure. I don't know, y'all. I need to find these records so I can. So when I got, I, I was asking a lady. I was like. So what do I do if I want to have my baby in Northside? Because I don't want to have my baby here. I think somebody else had said that to her too because she was like, I didn't have this discussion with you before. But it wasn't me. It must have been somebody else. And she was like, you have to go upstairs to the fourth floor to get to the medical records. Or when you go into labor, they're going to call here and get the records. But I don't want to do that. I want the records in my hand and I take them myself. They come in to help me because I need help. And this is emergency exit. Hi. Hi. Yes. 
Yes, I'm looking for OB medical records. It's I'm sorry I cut the camera off like that, y'all, but I ended up finding the lady that y'all heard in the background that asked me if I wanted some help. She ended up showing me where to go. I had to go. They changed where it was, so I had to go a whole different route, and I finally got my medical records. So I can go to the hospital that I want to go to. As soon as I go to labor, I'm just going to go to um, Northside Hospital. They can't turn you away when you're in labor, so I'm going to have my medical records in the bag with me. Mom, hmm? you said you was going to take a lot of this to last. I am. They be worried about the wrong thing. I'm not taking him today, though. I'm so tired. But yeah, y'all. Got my medical records. Going to Northside. Did I tell y'all that the lady at like, she got offended because I said I didn't want to have my baby at that hospital? She got offended. <laughs> well, she told some next time we gonna have to talk about this. We can talk about it all we want to, lady, but I'm having my baby at Northside. That's the best hospital. Why wouldn't I? She know that's the best hospital. She know. But yeah, y'all, that's it. Um, oh, as y'all can see, I'm, I'm high risk. I thought I wasn't high risk anymore, but they said I'm high risk. My ultrasound paper don't say high risk, but my prenatal appointment paper does it's just so confusing and every freaking time i go to the doctor i get a new doctor every single time i have four or five different doctors already just sucks but yeah you guys i hope y'all enjoyed the vlog oh elijah ran upstairs like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, you guys. Subscribe and look. <laughs> See, that's how tired I am. One earring. <laughs> because when I was laying down, I took one of my earrings off. The kids eat noodles. But I love you guys.